decide to record um, this recovery from a bad shot or just good defense position. It's a John Smith uh, how to recover from a bad shot outside single shot, right? So our head's going to be on the inside. We had all kinds of mic problems. Having the mic lapel on my neck, um, it rubs and everything when I'm in that position because I'm getting smashed by him. So I'm trying something different with these mics, and then it decided to rain. So if you hear some background noise, that's really what it is, but I'm going to try to fix this up. So this is all about how to recover if somebody actually knows how to sprawl on you and smashes you, which is going to happen a lot. So if he sprawls here, okay, this hand, this is my outside single hand, okay? I need to take this hand and grab it here. And I'll show you from a different angle in a second. I have to grab the outside of my hand here, okay? And this anchors me, so go ahead and put weight on me. So even if his leg is straight here, and it's got to be, okay, then I'm, I'm going to try to get the angle that I showed you in videos number two and 39, okay, how to finish the outside single. But if I'm, from, if I'm here, I can't finish at all, and it sucks to be here, okay? So how are we going to fix this position? Because you're not going to pull with your arm, even if his neck, so if he throws shoelaces down like he is, and he straightens it out so that this leg's off the floor, I'm carrying a tremendous amount of weight right now, okay? And so... I'm not going to ever, unless the guy has no idea what he's doing, and that's not what this channel is about. We want to use wrestling that works against high-level wrestlers, because if it works against high-level wrestlers, then it'll work against anybody, okay? And so, you can't pull with your arms. It'll never, ever happen. So, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to pull with our lats. Okay, so you, you have to, so you're here, and you have to round your shoulders up. Once you're, once you get it enough to where you're under, see, now I have weight. Now his weight's not as big of a problem. Now, if he knows how to wrestle, he's going to keep trying to scoot back. He's going to keep trying to take my posts away. So what I'm going to do, I'll do a little bit of an angle, is shrug my shoulders and bring my body to it. Okay, and what that does is once I get the weight on my arm a little bit, it allows me to bring my knee a little closer, which helps me deal with his super strong sprawl. And then once I get close enough, I'm going to rotate this and get this elbow behind his leg. Once I get there, then the classic outside uh, single finish is um, going to be easier to get. So let's do it from this angle, and then I'll do it from that angle. So I get on a shot, and he sprawls. He stuffs me good, okay? I shrug my shoulders so that I can get my body here. And then I knee slide, drop my hip. This gets me here. Now, once I get here, I'm pretty good, okay? And now I'm going to finish the outside single. Now I'm going to finish the outside single where, oh, okay, spot you. Okay? Like I have to. Remember, I'm grabbing this hand. So when he sprawls, I grab this hand, okay? I shrug my shoulders. Go ahead and keep the weight on. Keep, go ahead and keep that knee off the ground. Yeah, I shrug my shoulders here so I can get my weight down. I cut the corner. And if it doesn't come right away, see how my elbow's not behind? I cut the corner, I cut the corner. Now I'm good, okay? Now I'm gonna keep circling, circling so I can step over, right? And like I showed you on my other video, turn it out, shelf it, here, finish low. Finish low, climb up. Okay? It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of confidence that you understand that position. Okay? Trust me, I'm old. I've wrecked both of my shoulders wrestling for a long time. It's a lot to carry. Okay? But you can't pull. You pull this way. Once I get my arms underneath me, I have a post that takes the weight off my leg, right? Then I drop my hip, get that elbow behind. Once I get that elbow behind, I'm elbow deep. Now I can circle my legs, and I can get it. I can get the finish. Let's do it the backside, okay? Let's do it over there. So 
here. He sprawled on me. He stuffed me good, okay? I shrug. See how knees slide? I rotate. Now I'm here. I don't want to come back up to my knees. I circle this way. See that? He can't, he's, he's in a lot of trouble now. Now that I'm here, now I go to the knee here. I keep moving my body this way, right? And I'm keeping pressure here. So I step over. See how he's already turning away. Go ahead and keep the wizard on. Even if he keeps the wizard on here, now I can show you how to, how to stop this. I did it to somebody the other day. <laughs> and uh, they were like baffled. Turn that knee out just like I showed, right? This wizard's useless now. Even if, go ahead and keep it on. <laughs> Even with it on, it doesn't stop me from going here. Okay? So the lift arm that everybody's teaching you, it comes from when we're hip to hip here. Okay? This is like the lift arm finish, right? But if I get, if I turn this out, see how, see how he's lost it? He doesn't have it now. I'm going that far angle, okay? And I've already shown that in great detail. How to finish from there, okay? I've showed you in great detail how to finish from there. So, you know, it's, it's really about um, the mechanics are taking his weight off me. Now, keep in mind that if he knows that position really well, then if he gets on, in on that shot, right, he's trying to shrug, I'm going to keep trying to stuff him. I'm going to be stuffing him. I'm going to be wrist grabbing, right? I don't, every time he tries to shrug and bring his legs up, that's why I block here. I, don't, I know if, if we both know how to wrestle, I know that he wants his base under him. So I want to take that away, okay? Because right now, I'm in bad position for something that I'm going to show you in the next video. I'm in a bad position for him to, he can switch to other shots because of the way I'm way too up here. So I need to get back here. I have to get back here, okay? And then I can also hip tip like I've shown on another video. And the whole point of the hip tip is I've, I've, I've taken his base away. Okay, and so I know you guys are gonna, you're gonna get into this position and you're gonna say, man, like, how's he doing that, you know? And, and it's, it's really like, if I'm extended all the way here, I'm not gonna be able to knee slide, okay? The knee slide works because when I build the height and I, my, my, I have a post underneath me, now I can knee slide, okay? But if I'm like this, I can't knee slide because all my weight is smashed, right? We're here on the hand, okay? We're not, we're not doing gable grip. We're here on the hand. And you can, when you, first, when you first take your shot, you can get in the habit of doing this. That's the old John Smith way. Once I bring it up, once I bring it up, I'll switch to a gable grip, right? I've shown that in a number of videos. But that's the only way you're going to hang on to that grip because he's going to be putting it on you. When I'm practicing, whenever I'm wrestling, we get in these positions. Anytime somebody shoots in on me, like, it's like, no way. That's my first thought, like, no way. Like, I don't think, like, uh-oh, he's in on me. I'm like, no. Because then I've got a lot of the cards in the, in, the, in the stack if this isn't working. But if his base is under him, I'm starting to get compromised. Once he turns that corner and he gets elbow deep, nothing, my, oh, my wizard's no good, nothing's good anymore. You have to start. Now you're in the dog fight. You want to stay out of the dog fight. Trust me. I've been reading stuff where people have been talking about wanting to get into the dog fight. You do not want to get into the dog fight on people who know what they're doing. Ever. Because we, we both have offense from there. Okay? Once I cut the corner, if I stay low, okay, and I stay off his waistline, and I pitch his legs together and he falls here, he has zero offense. Zero. Okay? The only thing he's thinking, and it's the same in wrestling and in jiu-jitsu, is when he falls to his hip, he's trying to clear this line so he can get back to a sprawling line position, right? Or if you're in jiu-jitsu, you might have um, accepted the fact that you got taken down, depending on the rule set, right? Because if it's ADCC, you have to climb up. You know, you have to climb up so his, so his back is on top, which you should be doing anyway. 
If you smash somebody down, you want to climb up, climb the tree. You chop the tree down low, climb the tree up. Okay, but this is how you get there. And it's, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to work on this, but it's actually fundamentally very simple. And if you notice, I did not, well, when we teach kids, we usually, when we teach kids, we teach them to post their hands and, and tripod up. But that, that, does, that falls apart later on when people know what they're doing. And when your hips are high, and if you're in freestyle wrestling and stuff, you can get tossed. The John Smith way, the way that I'm teaching you here, where you drop your hips and you run this way, absolutely the best way. My hips are slower than his. My, everything's lower than his, and so I can cut the corner, and I'm backstepping this way. And it's amazing. Now all of a sudden, his weight's not a problem because I'm pivoting from my hands to my elbow, and now my elbow is the pivot. And since I'm so elbow deep, he can't get his leg back. So I'm sure I'm going to get questions on this, and I hope that you ask them, okay? This is a position that you absolutely will get into when people learn how to sprawl, okay? And uh, the more you understand the details, the, the better off you're going to be. A lot of people can show you stuff, but they don't understand what they're teaching 100%, or they might think that they do, but then as time goes on, you realize they don't know the details that actually make these things work. I'm trying to give you high-level details so that if it, and this is the stuff that works at the, at the highest levels, okay? Because I don't want to teach you something and then say, oh, never mind, that only works at JV. Here's how you work at wrestling. That doesn't work at wrestling at J, uh, varsity. That only works, you know, now you have to learn what's good for college. Now you have to learn what's for the elite. No, we're going to teach you elite level stuff, but that's not difficult to understand so that then you can put this all together and be successful in the room. Because if you notice, there's no choke from there. I'll show you later on another one. When the darts becomes a problem, it's more important that your hands don't break in jujitsu ever than in wrestling. Because once my hands break, now all of a sudden you can back up, and now it's darts territory. I take my heads on the inside. So let me know how this works out. Um, if you're not a member or a, a subscriber, like and subscribe, and uh, ask questions. Thanks.